after a while it numbs your senses. But if there is a pause, then the tension building in the film can grow into a wider dimension. Actually in Japan, it's, it's amazing how architecture, fine arts, drama, gardens, everything is called the art of Ma. This is just a computer analysis of how many people we come into connections with and they just mapped the interactions and you know that a very very natural system just emerged and I thought this is just a very nice diagram to show us how interconnected we are actually. We must endure the pain of others, the death and what happened in the world. We must share, we must share what has been happening to the world. You know, if you view the elderly as really beautiful people who have a lot to offer us, you know, elderly can bring out the best in us, you know. Just like children can bring out the best in us, it's how you view the elderly. And uh, to see caregiving not as a burden, caregiving need not be a burden, it is a privilege. So then I asked, and I asked them, so how do you expect us to look at them? So they started to relate uh, stories about their grandparents. And slowly, the solution came out. When, when that person grows older, that, that identity, that identity of the self seems to have been lost. Because in, especially perhaps in an Asian society, a lot of time our self-identity is tied in with the, um, the role we play and the work we do. To be free to set our own goals and to achieve them in our own time and space, gives us dignity. Finally, be kind. This is an important phrase if we want to be happy. Be kind. This reminds me of one question of my student. Ask me, Ustaz, I love my mother very much. I love my parents very much. How much can I do for them when they leave this world? Life can be very meaningless. Someone say, when one does not understand death, life can be very confusing and unhappy. A more compassionate society means we need more understanding employers, caregiver-friendly societal policies, social policies, and a community with a high level of grief literacy and death literacy. Yeah. Have you tell your loved one? be it in ill health or while I'm still good, to say that if one day I fall critically sick and I cannot no longer express my wishes, I cannot express what I would want, okay, uh, how would I want to be treated? Smooth departure. I am not here to ring bells of Hindu temple and disturb him. This goes for everybody. In our everyday lives, when we are just living, uh, we make the habit of looking at challenges and then trying to figure out for every kind of challenge, doesn't matter what kind of challenge is there, how can we build an inner resilience that will help us overcome it? You can play Indian ragas. Indian ragas are melody. There are 72 main ragas. To relieve and to, you know, we have new nervous system. 72 main nervous, nervous point of nervous chakras, we call it. So there are 72 main ragas. Body decomposes and it goes back to dust. But the soul in, uh, immediately returns to God. And we believe that one day when Christ comes again, believers, they will be given new bodies and they will rise with him up to heaven. I have done a lot of merits. I do not have any fear towards the death. In fact, such a practitioner, rather than fear towards the death, they are looking forward beyond the death because they have so much confidence. Primary forest, Diptera forest, mangrove forest, freshwater swamp forest. Go to the next slide. This is what we've got left. Hey, we've modified our environment. How much are we justified in taking? How much should we leave? Aspire to inspire before we expire. You know, you aspire 
What is that that you aspire, that you want to inspire your next generation before you expire? Don't wait till the deathbed in order to say good things. Your good things must be said every day of your life. 